an egg snack or laugh is too short to be serious. Have you all ever had that kind of day where just nothing seems to be going right? You're just frustrated, a bit angry, pretty much in a bad mood. Well, here we are, here I am just, oh, today, just today. And I, I, I'm gonna be late getting back to work and my explanation is gonna be casual. Panera screwed up and my food was late. So that's that's gonna be my explanation. Um, but yeah, I am frustrated as heck. So frustrated right now. Barely have time to do this review, so we're gonna jump into it. But yeah, that's one of them. Number two, we have a ratchet looking coffee. Now I probably do have more coffee in this cup than what I would have gotten in the, the normal cup. But I just think it's so ratchet. They're running out of so much here. It's frustrating. Then I'm collecting the 50th anniversary of Disney World toys. And the McDonald's where I typically have no problem getting all the toys from is a, just, a, a, I don't even wanna say it. it's it's just a mess. I guess that's a fair word. I don't have my comb, so my hair doesn't look so good today. Um, and it's just like, it's one of those days. And I feel like this is a review that's, at this point won't get a lot of views, so I can just kind of take my anger out on you guys. And I apologize. But it's been that day. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully uh, I get the toys and, um, you know, things go well. As long as this food's good. Uh, and, oh, the grilled cheese, the mac and cheese doesn't even look as good as I've seen other reviewers have it look. So frustrating. Just frustrating. The fact that I have to wait so long. You know, I order it for 1.30 and it's not ready till 1.45. Come on, people. Come on. So, yeah. I thought the point of mobile ordering was so you could have it in advance. And when you got there, you got there and got it. So yeah, coffee. This is the cinnamon crunch latte. And then this is the mac and cheese grilled cheese, which just kind of looks pitiful compared to what I've seen. I'm just frustrated. I might have to complain about this experience. But uh, I had to do that. All right, so that's what we're rolling with. I mean, that's the best I can give you, and I, I just don't have time to mess with it. So we're gonna get into this review, we're gonna get out, and you, you, you might enjoy it. You might enjoy what you see, and I might enjoy this food. So, you know, we're here. All right, so grilled cheese, grilled mac and cheese sandwich. It's, you know, they take their cheese, and they take their mac and cheese, and they put it all on, one sandwich. It looks good. It just it doesn't look like it should as advertised. It should be stacked up with stuff. And I'm paying you $10 for a sandwich. Come on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Hampton location, by the way. If Benair's watching this, Hampton location. All right. So let's go ahead and get to this. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. That is good. Hmm. I don't know why I just bit down on them. It was a little crunchy. I guess they put either bread crumbs or croutons. I, I, I think it's croutons. That's an interesting dynamic. I was just going to eat one half of this sandwich. Because I thought there was going to be a lot on it. But there really isn't. But I, I forgot how good the mac and cheese is. I never remember liking it all that much. But I think it's really good. As for the cheese outside of the mac and cheese, I don't seem to notice a lot. I think this... Feels mostly like a, a, a mac and cheese sandwich, but anyway. But in the description, I think they, they're supposed to put other cheeses outside of what's on the mac, you know? Overall, it tastes really good. You get the nice buttery flavor. Uh, the uh, the bread, um, 
typical grilled cheese flavor here, but it's enhanced by mac and cheese. So while it's not something to die for, in my opinion, like I've had things that I've absolutely been, you know, astounded by and just in awe of, I think it's it's solid. So much to the point that it's, it's very enjoyable. It's just not groundbreaking. And it's definitely something you can do at home. But the fact that they have really good mac and cheese just enhances it really nicely. So for that, I'm going to have to say it's an 8. Mmm. All right, now we're trying the cinnamon crunch latte that comes in a Pepsi cup. So, all right, let's go. Now, I don't really know where the crunch in all this is. I don't know if it's supposed to have like a crunchy dynamic going, you know, up into your mouth. But I don't sense a lot of crunch. I do get a good amount of cinnamon, though. I don't know if they just call it Cinnamon Crunch kind of to mimic the name of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I like it. Um, it's a very, very milky vanilla-y coffee. Maybe not as much coffee as I might prefer. But this drink goes down smooth. And there's no complaints here for it. I just wouldn't say it's amazing. And of course, I am disappointed that I got mine in a Pepsi cup, you know. Especially when I saw, and it's not because I got it to go. I saw a to-go cup with it. Um, and it was way smaller, so I do think I got more, but my utter disappointment here for that that um, discrepancy it's glowing and I used up half the video to complain so I apologize but I think it has a good amount of cinnamon flavor but there's nothing that really stands out to it it's not like wow you this, this is groundbreaking it's more like you know how we talk about pumpkin spice you know it does it have a good amount of pumpkin spice or does it have some amount of pumpkin spice this I think you know like you know as we compare to other cinnamon items this has a fair amount, but not a whole ton. And it's just, it's it's a fair drink. It, it's not something I would write home about. But I'm willing to say, hey, this gets an eight. I think an eight would be would be fair in this situation. Uh, well, sorry, not an eight, sorry, a seven. I think a seven would be fair in this situation. And I definitely enjoyed the sandwich more. Um, you know, even though it was all so simple, I think it's just more enjoyable, more pleasurable. It's like, oh yeah, it feels so good in my mouth. Okay, don't think inappropriate. Um, but, you know, it feels so good on my taste buds and everything. Um, you know, and that still tastes good. It's just not as good as the grilled cheese. So, that's it. That's my slew. I apologize if my attitude kind of turned you off, but you know, that's just how it, it, it goes sometimes. We ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. Panera ain't perfect. McDonald's definitely ain't perfect. But uh, that's just life. And that's how we roll. So, yep. I'll see y'all around. Yee-yee!